everybody. Welcome to our first episode of FT Learn. And this is designed to just be some quick tips to help you get through your day. And uh, right now, I'm going to talk to you about some of the possibilities of Teams. So as we're moving through some of these distance learning days, what happens is the longer that we are in this distance learning kind of continuum, um, the less engaged students become, unless we do something to create a sense of community. So one of the tools that we have available to us to help us create that sense of community is Microsoft Teams. And you can use it to just do a quick check-in with students just to see how they're doing. Um, this would be different than maybe a Schoology discussion because a Schoology discussion would be used for strictly classroom work and this might be more of the engagement process so to start a new conversation you just come down to the bottom of the screen and you press start a new conversation and you can type something simple like how's everyone doing today and you just press enter so i'm working inside the app the other thing that you might do is schedule a check-in with your class so that it's like an in-person check-in where you are video conferencing with each other. A real easy way to schedule that is to just press on the web cam at the bottom where it says meet now and then instead of just starting your you know video camera you're going to choose schedule a meeting and then you'll do things like add your title and the time. You could add details if you want and then you're going to press send and this is going to send an invite to your class um, now within that you can do a couple other things so if i check at this check-in thing and i click on the three dots i'm going to view my meeting details and i could very easily grab this link here and put it in schoology so if i'm worried the kids are going to miss it um, so you just copy and paste that into schoology or um, another thing I might do is click up here on meeting options and that's going to open up uh, a browser. It's, it'll open up Teams in a browser and um, this might be something to do. So it says who can present. You might want to control that. You might not want kids like sharing their screen while you're talking. You might be the one who sh shares your screen and then invites other people to share. So instead of everyone being allowed to do that, you are going to choose only me and then press save. Okay, so that means that you are the only person who is allowed to present your screen. So you're basically now ready for your meeting. I'm going to close my browser tab, come back to my Teams app because that's where I'm working, and um, press close. Okay, so once that's done, you're good to go, and maybe it's going to be a couple days later that you come back to join in that meeting, or it could be right now. And the way you can access the meeting is from this post stream or from the calendar, which is over here. And I am going to press check in to get into this meeting. Your students will do that too. I'm going to press join. Okay, and then I have the option here on my computer to join with my camera or turn it off and to join with my microphone or turn that off. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and join now. All right, so here we are in the meeting. It's a little trippy because you've got like the mini me and then you have the big me. Okay, um, now I want to wait for my students to come in. So I'm gonna add a student. Okay, so you'll see that um, my new person has joined and they can choose to join with um, video or with um, microphone and that kind of thing as well. But this is just showing up as their initials unless they've changed their profile. Okay, so if I want to see who else is on this call, all I'm going to do is press over here on show participants and it brings up the participants list and I will see that um, my additional person is marked as um, an attendee. Now this option is going to go ahead and mute the microphone and I can allow the microphone. If I needed to invite other people to join this or if people aren't getting in and they miss the thing, they missed the email or the message I sent, I can copy the join information here. That'll copy it to the clipboard and then I can drop that into Schoology or to an email or some other form of communication. Now, um, I am the teacher and I'm in 
presenter mode. Um, and I can now share my screen and give a screencast or talk through some um, major points of a lesson. And to do that, I might share a presentation or share my share something else. So what I'm going to do is press share. And when I press share, um, it will show my desktop a specific window or it will load up PowerPoints. So if I wanted to show a PowerPoint, for example, I am just going to open up a random one. And for the students, what that does is it pops open my presentation and then they can watch along. I'll show you this. So here's the student one. And so I might be presenting and talking about all kinds of things. And on their device, they are watching me talk about those things. So just a super easy way to just facilitate a presentation. Okay. So when I am finished um, sharing my presentation, all I'm going to do is go to stop presenting. And then we're back into the, the video mode. Okay. Uh, some other things I might need under share. Um, I might need a whiteboard um, to illustrate a lesson. This doesn't work awesome on um, a laptop because you're like basically drawing with your trackpad. And I don't love that. But um, that's definitely something for you to try out. All I would do is uh, pick a pen and maybe write out some math or something like that. Um, and when I'm finished, all I do is hover down at the bottom and press stop presenting. Okay. And that brings me back to the video. All right. Some other things um, under more actions, I could actually record this for my class. So when you start your class meeting, if they can't be there for the end time thing, if you press start recording, it will record your whole lesson or your whole class meeting or whatever you're doing. The other thing you can do is blur your background. That's cool. Um, okay. So that's just some other actions that you might check out. Um, and last, if you have everybody in attendee mode, um, they can be typing a chat. So if I put show conversation, it would show any kind of chat that they were having. And um, so if they were asking questions, if you have that chat open along the side, you can um, let them ask questions there and then you can get in there and respond to their questions. Or you could drop um, different handouts that they might need, you know, on the fly. You could drop a link to your presentation and then they can join in. So that's, those are just a few different ways that you can engage and keep working on creating community, even though we're um, all remote right now. Final thing that I would show you is under show participants again, if I come back here, I can actually make a student a presenter. So if a student wanted to show their work or had been working with them or they needed to talk about something, I can click over here and then choose make a presenter. And then I've changed who is allowed to present. And then now this student can, um, can share a little more freely what they need to say. Um, it will be a little distracting because if you have more than one on, it kind of divides your screen into four and then you can see four different people. Um, I'm not really sure how to change that yet. So if anybody finds out, let me know. Um, okay, so sorry, that's kind of like a hot mess, but you're getting me at home on NTI days. And I hope you guys have a great first couple days out there in your houses. Bye guys.